I'm back. Let's go. Top 50. If you're not on the list, I either don't know you or you're irrelevant. You're probably irrelevant or you just suck. This is the real top 50 certified. Let's get into it. What's up, bitch? Coming in at number 50, we have Dream Killer Char. This guy's pretty fucking mid, but I mean, he cracked top 50. Congrats. At 49, we have Whiskey. Her claim to fame is breaking my ankles in the Hell Crew final, so she makes the list. Next, at 48, we have Carrie by the way. Hey. 46, we have your favorite psychopath, Jacob JKO. At 45, we have Yerba. Sleeper for the Iron Wolves. He only played like a season and a half, but that boy was cool. Just trust. Next up, we have this little piece of shit from the Hellbillies, Axon Jason. He used to be my duo, then he started smoking my dead homies. Next up, at 43, we got Grumpy Goalie. I haven't seen this guy play since fucking Nam, but he was alright, I guess. He played for the Outsiders, and they were pretty mid, but yeah. At 42, we have Jed. Uh, in my eyes, this guy is just a clone of Grumpy. They're like identical. They're both outsiders. They're all right. Holy shit, it started. You've got to be fucking shitting me. At number 40, we have Ice Libra, most known for playing for Hell Crew and doing the ice tech. She's pretty cool. So I just made this whole video and I just realized I had 51 names on my list. So I'm gonna put my boy Gotham Zero right here. And yeah, he's like number 39.5. Next up at 39, we have Risen, the best boat driver and the only AJ main I accept. At 38, we have In the Thanos. At number 37, we have James Barton. This guy is weird as hell, but he's actually a pretty decent counselor. At number 36, we have Mr. Nerd. You know, he's cold. He got the chip with um. Uh, he'd probably be higher up if he played more. He just like never plays. At 35, we have Malik. To be honest, I have no idea what to say about this guy. He was the captain of plebs and they were a good team, I guess. That's about it. At number 34, we have K Pizzle, the only good runner that has ever played for Dream Killers. At number 33, we have Game Playing Guru. He gets a lot of shit for being a bad counselor, but he's not that bad. He's, he's eh, he's all right. At 32, we have Jigs. At 31, we have the 999 ping himself, Rifty. At number 30, we have Sexy Lady Purple. At number 29, we have Alpaca the Bomb. Alpaca played for a lot of the top teams in history and he probably would be higher if he got to play more but he just didn't get to play that much he's a busy guy at 28 we have hockey dan he played for iron wolves on xbox he's pretty good at number 27 we have one of the captains of the panty raider dynasty marvel was pretty cold he just didn't play that often he probably could be higher we got a number one victory royale yeah fortnite we about to get down at number 26, we got LeBron Prodigy. A lot of people think LeBron sucks ass, and you ought to just be on that man's dick. He's actually not that bad, but he's pretty good. Coming in at number 25, mate, we got Chichi Gamer. This little piece of shit. I've only played with him a few times, but he's a good lad, mate. He's a good lad. At number 24, we have the youngest man alive to reach 600 pounds. He's plays for stoners. He's pretty good. A little youngster. At number 23, we have Boo's boyfriend, Flex. He plays for Stoners too, and he's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. At number 22, we got the most overrated counselor of all time, Freaky JT. I would admit he's pretty good, but like, y'all be on this man's dick, bro. Like, he's mid as fuck. Like, he's cool, but like, damn, like, like, damn, he's, he's all right, I guess. Shit. Coming in at number 21, we have the golden goose of um himself, Vex. Yo, bro, you think I'm like top 20, bro? I think I'm like top 20, bro. At number 19, we got Epic Lucius. Bro, this man plays Adam like a Vanessa. This man is so cold, so underrated. Played for PR, Monstars, Raiders. But this man played for all the good teams. This man's cold, underrated. At number 18, we got Han Sellout. 
This man is the best part finder of all time. I'm not gonna lie. This man Han has 20 nah, chips. Shut the life. fuck up, silly. Han is actually the most fucking carried player in this game. Mid as fuck. At number 17, we got Big Bomber JV himself. Best candy to ever play the game. I don't give a fuck what any of y'all have to say. At number 16, we have Tox Vipe. I initially had him way lower on the list, but then I had to respect that he's got the chips. He's got the feats. But y'all y'all be dick sucking this man. Y'all swear he's like top five. Me personally, this man's a walking lick. This guy's kind of a freak on, but I got I gotta I gotta respect. I gotta put my respect. Number 15, we got Ryan FYB, aka Ryan117. This man was a nuisance for Jason's bro. This this man will play Kenny holding a wrench and you're just getting put on your ass every single time you shift. My boy was cold. At number 14, we got probably the most consistent Vanessa of all time, bro. Cheesy Mac was a different type of Nessa, bro. This man was like a support Nessa. Number 13, we have Anthony GK. This man is arguably the best runner of all time, bro. This man was so cold. He also played for PR and got like some crazy feats with them. And this man, this man could be higher if if, if he if he played more, but this boy cold. At number 12, we have this cocky bastard, Apex Predator. This man is honestly so talented, but like, this man will not get in a fucking car, bro, I swear. Like, you gotta yell at this man to do shit, but he's just so talented, and his Kenny's cold, so. Yeah. Coming in at number 10, we have Rejuvenated Trip, aka Don't Trip, bro. This man has played for a lot of the best teams, and he's one of the best fighters and a pretty good runner. My hood rats. Coming in at number 9, we have the walking highlight reel himself, Christabel56. Bro, this man has some of the craziest plays in history, arguably the best fox of all time. At number 8, we have Seraphic King. This guy was one of the most consistent players. All around great fighter, great runner. He played for a lot of the best teams. And he also made his own team like from the ground up with Iron Wolves, so that's respectable. We got Reesh. Once again, another great fighter, great runner, very mechanically sound. Played for a whole bunch of teams and got some chips and yeah. Hi. Kicking off the top five, we have Almighty Gucci. Bro, Gucci is certified. This man's played for a lot of the top teams in his short career, but all around good fighter, all around good runner, good leader in game. And he does it all on EU ping, so it's respectable. At number four, we have Lido Fresh himself. A lot of people put Lido as their number one. And he probably could be number one, it's arguable, but I wasn't around for the early, early, like Lito Fresh prime days. But when I played with Lito Fresh, he was a problem. He's a beast. Arguably the best Fox of all time as well. Really good. At number three, coming straight out of the slums, Shan the man. Bro, Shan was the best shit talker of all time in this game, bro. This man would get in your head, like, but this man was so cold. Arguably the best leader of all time. Man had crazy IQ. He wasn't too flashy with like the tech or anything, but man got the job done on Vanessa. He was a beast, played for Monstars, played for Panty Raiders, and yeah. At number two, we have Doritos. Doritos is like the godfather for a lot of like the early like Friday strats, like really like revolutionized the game back then on Xbox and brought it over to PlayStation. But all around beast, really changed the game. Lows boy, chicken little looking ass boy, I'm on your head boy. And at my number one, I got the chicken boy. Uh, to be honest, a lot of stuff that I learned from this game came from Jay. So I gotta give him his respect. He's arguably the best leader, solid fighter, solid runner. Also revolutionized the game with strats on Xbox and PlayStation. And yeah, he's number one in my opinion. Wait, y'all thought it was over? Coming in at number zero, the greatest to ever play the game, Silly Fishlips, unmatched. 
it is undisputed, the champion, the greatest, the greatest there's ever been. <laughs>